are leaving the Glenwood Springs, Newcastle area on our way to get on trail. Abby's in the back already napping it up. And that's where we're at. It's Thursday about 4.30. section two and we set up camp and we just finished dinner and now we're gonna go to sleep so we can get up early and we've got a ride to Indian Creek Trailhead where we will start the trail um, so yeah it's been an okay day so far. Hopefully we get some good sleep. A little past 8 o'clock and we have made it on trail. So we are doing the Indian Creek alternate because obvious reasons. <laughs> we got the pup with us. And look what it is, our first Colorado Trail sign. Woohoo! We slept at Little Scraggy last night. Um, it was getting too dark to continue the drive over here. Um, that worked out all right for us. So we are about halfway done with the Indian Creek Trail that then feeds in to the official Colorado Trail at Lenny's Rest. Um, it's pretty much woodsy, gradual up and down, nothing too crazy elevation wise. And for the most part, walking alongside a little creek. And Abby's doing really good. So that makes me happy. How are you doing, Dad? So far, so good. So far, so good. First little elevation climb. Thankfully, it's kind of breezy up here. My dad and I were just talking about this. And there's a nice little wind and it's kind of cool up here compared to where we were doing our training hikes. So, we're all doing pretty good. Officially hit the Colorado Trail. We're at Lenny's Rest. Okay. Okay, that climb up Bear Creek is freaking ridiculous. Wouldn't you say? What? That climb. Oh, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. But now it seems to be kind of okay. gradual. But it, it was the last water source for just Good over day. eight miles. So we filled up a lot of water. So I probably have an extra, what would you say? Uh, you? Yeah. You got uh, an extra eight pounds on you just in water. Yeah. But 
Better safe than sorry, I guess, is how we figure. That's been on, that was on the, the book. You camp up amongst the rocks. Pretty cool little campsite we stumbled upon. Not that we're staying. No, but we're going to summit and then do a mile or something like that. It's been an ass kicker. Yeah. Okay, we made it up this crap of mountain. And we're pretty pooped. Yeah. You want to descend some or? Um, let's look at gut hooks. This is our camp view tonight. Got a storm rolling in. But we did about 10 miles. We had to carry water. So that was not the funnest thing this afternoon. It's 5.30 now, and this is the view. We made our plan. We're getting up early. We're going to finish these last almost four miles early because the next section we think is here in this burn area. So I'd rather hit that early. And this little girl's pooper tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna feed her again soon. And then I have some peanut butter for her too. So it's probably close to 7.45, 8 o'clock. This is the view. We are gonna put our ear sack up and grab the Sawyer squeeze, make sure that's in the tent with us, and wash up and change into our PJs and call it a night. It's about um, maybe six. night um overall I feel like I I didn't sleep like awesome but I slept a lot better than um the night before I woke up a couple of times and just kind of tossed and turned a little but I definitely slept a lot better than the previous night so I can't complain about that Looks good. Abby's wandering. <laughs> and it's windy today. So. Hi, morning, Papa. You should be careful over here, please. Took a quick break to drop some layers. Drink some water, and this is the view. Very cool. Oh, and there's a lake down there. I can barely see it though. Well, you can see it. Down this way, Dad. See straight through these pines to the to the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just finished segment one. We are at the parking lot and beginning of segment two. Um, 
we are going to stop and have breakfast and use the restrooms and get some water and figure out the rest of the day. Yeah. So the incline on the segment two, pretty gradual, not too bad, not as bad as Bear Creek to the summit of, yeah. <laughs> but um, this is doable with what we're carrying. But this is the burn area, I guess. We're starting into it. Yep. Very cool. How you doing, Abby? Good? You happy, girl? Yeah. Chair rock. And the view. And here's the burn area. We're going up there. We've only gone up 400 feet. Now, no, almost five. Taking a break, and we got this one little cloud up here dropping rain on us. The happy loves it. We've got like a mile of just uphill coming at us. So we're breaking. God, that feels good. So we got a storm rolling in, but we were going to stay here. But we've decided to. We decided we're going to push. But, so this is, I think, 5.2 miles in, and there's some good camping options here for anybody preparing for this hike and watching this video. Um, this is a pretty, pretty sweet little spot here. Hey, be careful, please. No, come this, come this way. Go by Grandpa. Oh, you little turd Ferguson. You gotta be by Mommy, don't you? Come here. Come here. I want your leash. Little cave. Oh, yeah. Okay, go. Go that way. Yeah, you can. And that must be chair rock, we think. Yeah. What, 6 a.m.? 6.30? 6.37. So 6.37, packed up camp, filtered water, Abby's eating breakfast, we're not hungry yet. We got five and a, some miles left. Five and a half, we hope, that's all it is. So we might just eat in the car. Dad's got a bar in his front zip pocket if he gets hungry and yeah, it's a little cold. Packed too much water, I think, but better safe than sorry. Oh, what we, we pack maybe a liter, a liter too, too much too each. Much. Big deal. It's better a lot of weight. Because <laughs> if we stopped two miles earlier, right, and then we would have needed it for this morning. So.
tingling mom up. Go, Abby. Alright, we made it. Ooh.